what's going on everybody welcome to your 19th jQuery tutorial and before starting this tutorial let me tell you an incident which happened with me today and a couple of days back I broke out my mic microphone which I used to record these tutorials and I went online to the site flipcat.com it is our Indian site for ordering products online various kinds of products so I ordered a Lenovo uh, headset I guess it was like mm, P159 model something like that but it was really bold looking and cool <coughs> and the specs were also good so I ordered that mic and the guy delivered in no time and he was at my doorstep maybe in a day or so maybe less so I was very impressed by the service and when I opened the mic it looked good to me I plugged in I shooted a couple of tutorials and when I tried to run these tutorials in VLC media player on my computer and what I saw you would not believe that there was no single voice uh, my voice wasn't recorded and I checked if I either plugged the switch is wrong into the CPU but all was good and I performed some tests, test records and found that there was a lot of humming noise and background noise in this microphone and it was just a piece of crap so basically I literally wasted my $30 on this microphone so I picked, uh, picked up my screwdriver postmortem my previous microphone and here I have this lecture ready with this working old my favorite microphone and I hope that it is recording this uh, audio right now because if it if it isn't then you guys are never gonna see this video <laughs> so coming back to the tutorial we have the EQ selector in this 19 tutorial and what this does is it would allow you to specify a index number to select elements from for example let's create a list alive item 1 item 2 and item 3 <coughs> so here we have a list with three items and an order list and down in the script what I want to do is I want to modify this first item so how will I do is traditionally would we would apply some ID or a class and access it with jQuery but suppose you are fetched this data from a another site and you cannot modify this directly and you want to select this li first li and want to do something with it so in traditional javascript to be fancy in volina javascript we do document dot get elements by tag name li and it would return us all these allies in the document and we'll use an index number 0 for instance to select the first one and then we'll do the methods or properties you want to do so in jQuery what we'll do is first of all using jQuery selector and the constructor function we'll select allies now we have all the elements all the allies in this uh, let's say in this variable and I want to select the first li so traditionally you would think that we'll do something like this but this won't actually work with jQuery because of its standard and how it works so what we have to do is we have to use a special event method called EQ now EQ would act like a like equals now it would say if li equals the index which we would supply in the par uh, parenthesis as an argument and then it would perform some uh, functions whichever we supply to that so let's say 0 now we have selected li which equals to 0th index which is the first li that is item 1 right now so let's say let's get it text so let's alert x now and let's launch it in our browser down here so file uh, 19th so here, here you go
go let's reload this again and as you can see we get item 1 as a result now what if I remove this what will happen then so now this li is bunch of all tags all li's on the document so what it would happen is um, this is a kind of object returned or object of arrays return and jQuery would compile all the text that is one two three and would alert out X so let's see what happens reload and as expected jQuery combines these three and alerts out them in the variable X so this was a tutorial on using EQ and you can use this not only with elements but also with classes and other attributes you like to have and that's how you do EQ in jQuery so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe